Yeah, well, it's not the kind of reporting I'm trying to do here. In this video is Mike Remy, a member of Pioneers Run Club. He would show video of the stand they set up at the 21st mile to support those in their group. Unfortunately, police in the Boston area would surround them, where they grilled food and spun tracks on a DJ set. Remy noted of the police presence in front and stationed behind them. He would simply ask the bike police, have you ever run a marathon before? And told them all he wanted to do was high five his friends as they passed his stand. He said he missed at least five of his buds who ran past what is largely known as one of the most difficult miles of the race. All he wanted to do was be there for support and instead he was restricted and shunned for it. You can see where the officers are stationed as well and just how many there are in Remy's video that he took on his Instagram page. They love to say we exaggerate now here. They love to say we exaggerate. I mean, I don't even know what the presence is all about. They love to say we, we, you know, it's all in your head, you're making it up. Make this up though. Can't make that up. I don't know why, can't make that up. So why are we out here? We cheering too loud? We supporting our friends too much? Another supporter gives credence to just how much over-policing is taking place in Remy's video. He would end it by saying, we're surrounded out here. It is a pathetic showing and another glaring example of how much of our taxpayer dollars simply go to waste. Because of what we witnessed in Remy's video, legal organization Lawyers for Civil Rights sent a letter to Newton's mayor and police chief demanding an emergency meeting, an investigation of the police tactics used at the marathon, and a public apology. That's via WBUR. The military-style formation of the police is a concrete example and visual representation of the intimidation and over-policing of black people, the letter stated. Allowing this conduct to remain unchecked undermines public safety, perpetuates, perpetuates excuse me, discriminatory policing, and sows distrust between police and communities of color. There's big news in the news organization um, that BuzzFeed News was going to go under. Prior to them going under, because those who are ultra-rich do not understand the value that the news desk brings, they would print. Remy gave an interview and he said, it felt like a traffic stop. There was one cop on a bike kind of cruising back and forth. After doing about four passes, he came back with some friends. There just aren't a lot of black and brown people into the sport, he'd say. It just doesn't feel like a coincidence that the cheer zone that was policed is the cheer zone that was organized by black and brown people. Mass Live would print out a statement from Newton Police. They claim spectators in Remy's group traversed the rope barrier and impeded runners. Before we go forward, you could take in the statement. We have shown on this very medium a history of deceit from police putting out memos such as these to paint a certain narrative. Heck, when George Floyd first passed away, police ran with, and I quote, man dies after medical incident during police interaction. They would not change their story until video surfaced. Keep this in mind when reading police statements. Per Mass Live once more. Remy noted it's a common occurrence for supporters to run alongside those competing for moral support. He even said he's never been to a race where it didn't happen. However, to him, it's a double standard. Quincy Mills, a professor of history at the University of Maryland College Park, would tweet, I ran Boston. I appreciated all of the supporters, and I was looking for black faces. Weren't many. By 21, I was too tired to notice what these supporters had to deal with. I'm sure they would have given me and others much love at a rough point in the run. Damn shame. BuzzFeed would go on to note, running while black author Allison Mariella Desir told the outlet, this situation is not anything new. Allison was at the time, I'm sorry, at the same Pioneers Run Crew station last year and also experienced disproportionate policing. Quote, yesterday was supposed to be a celebration, but running exists in the same context of this country and this world, which is rooted in white supremacy. So we have to intentionally address the way 
that it shows up. I have reached out to Remy. We are communicating right now. Hopefully I will have that interview for you guys. If not this weekend, then at a later time.